Tonight, a family murder mystery. A husband, wife, and two kids found buried in California's Mojave Desert. The father's from Texas and has ties to this area. Tonight, his Houston family is coming to grips with the news that's making national headlines. Local 2's Jennifer Bauer spoke with the victim's father. Jennifer? Lauren Joseph McStay lived here in Missouri City for a while, and he attended high school here at Dulles for several years. His father still lives in the area. He lives in Spring, and tonight he spoke exclusively to us about these latest developments. He did not touch my son. He was my best friend. The last four years have been extremely tough for Patrick McStay. Not knowing what happened to his son, daughter in law, and two grandkids who appeared to have just vanished from their California home. Something in me just said, you know, you're never going to see him again. You know. New developments in the case have left McStay glued to his computer, sitting inside his spring home, following every detail of the story out of California. The remains of Joseph and Summer McStay, along with their two young boys, were believed to be found buried in a shallow grave about 80 miles outside of Los Angeles. Police began looking for the family in 2010 after no one had heard from them in several days. Their SUV was discovered in a parking lot not far from the Mexico border. And investigators found this surveillance image of a family crossing into Mexico. Some people speculated they may have just up and left. But Patrick knew better and says his daughter-in-law would never take her boys across the border. You would have had to have dragged her kicking and screaming across that border. Now, police are treating this as a homicide, and Patrick has his own suspicions about who did it. I think that somebody hired somebody to do this. I mean, that's just, you know, and that's where all the evidence I have leads me. I just want whoever did it prosecuted, found and prosecuted. McStay has been very critical of the police work done on this case so far. He's now hoping that they can sort of switch gears and find whoever did this. We're live tonight. Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Local 2.